Start to finish, touch him up, step back and let you both. Ready? Well, it's a close fight, but Go. I think they give a slight edge to Alec Bui just with his tournament experience. And I just think he has that edge and that power that could slow Marshall down. Marshall likes to start red hot. Look for a high kick right away. That's what he needs to do. Marshall needs to put pressure on Alec Bui. Nice left kick comfortable. Going right after each other. finish for Attic Boy. We said Marshall likes to start red hot. Well, Attic Bowie, with his experience, with his pedigree, landed a counter punch for the ages, and Marshall didn't know what hit him. Yeah, that's what happens when you get too aggressive. You tend to leave your chin open, your hands a little low, and Attic Bowie took advantage of that. It happened so fast. Let's watch it again, Joe. Take us through it. Well, it was all Marshall really coming out with a lot of pressure. And there he threw the jab and a nice overhand right that put Marshall to the canvas. Marshall's body just sort of shut down on him. Here comes the counter punch with the right hand. Almost looked like it hit him on the top of the head. He almost faints with that jab and then came over with that right hand. Beautiful setup. Sometimes the hardest punches are the most damaging punches aren't ones that clip you on the chin or bust your nose. They're the hitch at the ear or right above the top of your head. Yeah, and Attic Bowie's got a really good jab, and I just liked how we kind of fainted into a half jab to come over. Made it a mid. Perfect timing. Good learning experience for Marshall, but when you fight someone more experienced, it's, you don't really want to play that one-for-one -one game. So the approach from Marshall was good to try to pressure Attic Bowie and try to get him out of his element. When you got your instructions backstage. Defend yourself at all times, I'm in my commands all times. So if you want to touch gloves, touch them now. Best of luck to both of you. Confident stare down though from Junior Taffa. Judge. He may have lost that first fight, like I said, but he, he wasn't beaten up. He wasn't dominated by any means. He just back didn't up. get the scores back to go up. his way. Hey, I said back up. He, there's no smile. That means you're cornered, bro. Now. Back up. First round. You ready, Junior? Ready, Fatigue Benjamin? could be a factor fight. though for Taffa, who did go three rounds. Benjamin Hottick Bowie in the white gloves, Junior in the black. Bowie going right for the low kicks right away. Trying to uppercut to Tafa. Snaps Benjamin Hottick Bowie's head back with the left hand. Oh, and a nice low kick. Yeah, he just low kicked and angled down, but Tafa's bringing the pressure. He knows he's got to get inside on Hottick Bowie. That's when he's going to unload. Would your strategy be if you were at a cool listen? The first two rounds really don't even matter. Just drag top into the third round, then you can drown him because he'll be exhausted. Well, you don't want to take those chances against a power puncher, so that's why Attic Boy needs to use his jab, circle up, try to stay off the ropes. Work your way out of it, let's it go. Looks like the Stop! Stop! Clean legs. break! Clean break! Separate! Not a bad strategy at all. Fight. You saw on top of almost got knocked down after those low kicks. Great. Hit someone's instant. Got to work in the clinches. Fight! Taffa said he got in fights growing up almost every single day. Finally, honed his craft in the garage with his brothers. Turn pro. Work, gentlemen. Let's go. Let's work. Stop. And he's always looking for a fight. Fight. He enjoys getting there and banging. Good combination from Mega Boy. Jab, lead hook, low kick. That's the jab. And that Go! might 
be a knockdown, yes. The damaging Two, low kick from Attic Bowie. Three, Absolutely four, a knockdown. five, six, seven, having trouble eight, any eight, on that left can leg. you continue? Can you walk on that leg? This could be okay. bad news hey, for Tyler. the corner right over there. 25 seconds to go here in round one. Fight. Bowie likes to hey, do turn is he around. doesn't throw a lot of power punches. He's just doing it. The touch, 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 trying to find the power kick. And it just gets your guard up. I think that leg is done. And Tafa jumping around like a kangaroo. Sit. Referee thinking about stopping Four, it. Can Tafa get to his five, feet? Six, seven, eight. Can you continue? So Tafa now has All been right, knocked right. down twice. Right, hey, 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 get over here. Attention. You know, Attic Bowie's Fight. got good low kicks. He trains with Rico Verhoeven. One of their best low kickers in kickboxing. Tafa's going to let his hands go here as we end round one. He's just got to swing if he huh. makes it through the round. His legs hurt from a leg kick right here. He doesn't have any brain well, damage or anything like that, but like, he can barely before? walk on it. So no. like, what's the advice you know, here? He can continue, well, I but. I don't think there's much left for Junior Tafel, but his his option is one, to go southpaw and try to do that, but who knows um, if he can handle it from, from the southpaw position. Or he's just got to go in and he's got a few seconds to, to throw his, a haymaker or something in the beginning of the round because you know Attic Boy is going straight for those legs. It's the old throw the kitchen sink in there. See what happens. Tafa's probably got a good 10 to 15 seconds left before Attic Boy hits him with another low kick. Take it from Boy, that's going to be a long 20-hour flight home to Australia for Tafa with that banged-up leg. So he is going so far. Hopefully, hopefully he'll, he's got an exit rope. One for Manic Boy. Oh, that's Down. it. That's it. Two. Three. Four. Tafa showing some work, though. Listening to me, it's brother. Over. Right, Benjamin Ike Bowie. Two fights, two wins, two knockouts. Ladies and gentlemen, our referee Michael Bell has stepped in and waved off this contest at 34 seconds of that second round, declaring your winner by technical knockout. And now three-time glory contender tournament champion, Benny Adek Bowie. Here to present the Ramon Deckers Trophy, our Managing Director of Sport, Mr. Cor Hammers.